To this day, my biggest breakthrough has been using AI to automate any process, and I'm excited to update you on everything I've learned in that area today. Most importantly, how you can now do this inside of the world's leading large language model, Claude. By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to turn the world's number one best performing large language model into some powerful automation software. This will be especially useful for marketers and entrepreneurs and people like you who are looking to save time, save money, iterate and improve faster as well as gain efficiencies. These tools are already generating revenue for me and at this point I am very confident that this is gonna be a valuable skill moving forward. But everyone I speak with struggles to use AI for process automation, so if that's you, I want you to know you're not alone. I have experimented with these a ton and I know that they're a lot of fun, but they often fall down when you put them into production and try to get some actual use out of them. This is often the case because we go too broad with them and I've learned that if we focus them on a step-by-step -step process they can become incredibly useful. I like to think about it this way, if you're creating a video game where you can go in any direction it's very difficult, but if you're creating a video game where you simply go from one level to the next it's much easier. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. In today's example I'm going to show you how to create a Claude project that builds social media campaigns for you. Here are the four magic steps we're going to go through today. First, process documentation, creating that initial process, then converting that process into a prompt sequence, then taking that prompt sequence and turning it into a set of instructions that we can upload right into Claude. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And then I'm going to show you how to test and deploy. But make sure to stick around for the end of the video where I'm going to show you how to automate parts of this process as well as some tips, tricks, and hacks that will really help you accelerate your process automation systems. Jumping right into the cheat sheet, I create one of these for each video that I make. There are now over 80 of these available instantly to anybody who joins my Patreon. There is a link in the description to get this cheat sheet so you can follow along this way. This is a 17 page cheat sheet so it's more like an ebook. It includes a lot of information about the new Claude features projects and artifacts. These features are amazing and I'm gonna be creating a lot of videos around them in the future. But right here on page four is the prompts I use to create my custom GPTs. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. So the first step is documenting your process. So if you have some process documentation, you're already ahead of the game. But if you just have an idea for a process you wanna create, you use this prompt. It basically says just please create a step-by-step -step process for X, Y, Z. And then giving it a little more information can be very helpful. Let me show you how this works. I'm going right over to Claude here. This is just Claude.ai and you can see by default it has this latest model, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. A lot of big news about this as it is outperforming ChatGPT by a wide margin and it can do some really cool things. So I'm saying please create a step-by-step -step process for taking the copy of a web page and turning it into a LinkedIn content campaign. And there you have it. Your process documentation is complete. Now we're moving on to step two. Step two is creating the prompt sequence, and this is the prompt I like to use. Can you help me create a process that will allow a user to interact with the large language model to work through the following? You need to specify that you're not trying to create an interface. Just copying that in right from the cheat sheet verbatim. And now it has converted that process into an interactive prompt sequence that is the basis of our instructions. Before we move on to the next step, I really want to welcome you and thank you for joining me here at Blazing Zebra and supporting me on my journey of helping to empower marketers and entrepreneurs, lifelong learners all around the world by providing comprehensive and practical AI skills that will help improve your lives in as many ways possible. These tools have improved my life in uh, almost every way you can think of. So thank you so much for your time and watching this video. I do support it through Patreon, so if you're getting something out of the videos check that out there are a ton of cheat sheets in there and coaching options as well but now moving on to turning that prompt sequence that we just created into a set of instructions that we can upload right into Claude this is the part that requires a little bit of work and knowledge on your side but again make sure to stick around to the end of the video I'm going to show you how to automate this section but I think it's important that you understand the mechanics of what's going on here so 
First thing you want to do is find the main ideas, make sure that they're in the right order. And then you want to add then in these check-ins or feedback loops. So at times in these instructions, you're going to make sure that the large language model is asking for opinions after certain steps to make sure it's what the user, AKA you or whoever you're building this automation process for making sure that it's on the right track. I've gone ahead and done that here. It starts again with that initial instruction and then walks the model through the different steps that we have created in our prompt sequence. And now we're ready to create our project inside of Claude and begin testing and seeing if we can share this model with the world. So I'm back at the Claude homepage, Claude.ai. And instead of a new chat here, we're going into projects. I'm clicking the projects section here. I'm creating a new project up in the right hand corner, putting a little bit in there about what I want it to achieve, clicking create. And over here in the custom instructions, this is where you copy and paste the instructions that you just created. Save those instructions. And now I'm just kicking this off by saying, please help me create a LinkedIn campaign from this website copy. Let's see what happens. It's analyzed the content here of the web page. Now it's asking us for our campaign goals. I'm just dropping in a little bit here about the campaign goals. And now I'm dropping in a little bit about the target audience. It has summarized all of that and put that into its context window into its massive working memory. And now it says, let's proceed with the content breakdown. How many posts would you like for this LinkedIn campaign? Let's start with five. It's generated five post ideas. Now it's asking for the formats. I'm just saying, let's create a mix of articles and video transcriptions. Now it wants to go ahead and move forward with the copy creation. I'm just saying, please proceed. This was never possible before with Claude. This is really exciting to see because Claude is one of the best AI tools at writing. And that's one of the places that uh, ChatGPT often falls down. It's now asking us to just take a look at each one of these and mark them approved. This is exactly how a content marketing agency operates. Approved. Now it's moving on with other content and it's just going to keep going like that, adding the visual element ideas, doing the hashtag research, doing the ad setup guidance, tracking setup, content calendar setup, performance metrics, optimization strategy, and final review. This is a massive process that you can really only do in Claude with its massive context window. And now you have this tool, this project that can be used over and over again as you're creating your LinkedIn strategy. But I told you I'd be sharing with you some extra tips and tricks. The biggest one is that I have a custom GPT that is still in uh, OpenAI that I use to create these custom instructions. And in fact, that's exactly what I did to create the custom instructions that I just showed you. This is that tool. This is my only free custom GPT that I have out there available to anyone. I'm going to put a link to this in the description and you can use this by taking that prompt sequence that we created and just dropping that in and it converts it beautifully into this set of instructions that is perfect for use in either Claude or uh, OpenAI's custom GPT. So take a look at that tool because that will help you automate this part of the process, which is one of the most tricky sections. Also in the testing and deploying stage, I've got a trick for you there. You can use Claude to create the test data. And that's exactly what I did with this process. I just grabbed the instructions and I said, Hey, can you create some synthetic data that I can use to test this process? Now grabbing web page copy is pretty easy, but some of the processes you're going to do may involve data and a lot of other stuff that can be hard to find, especially hard to find many different versions of it. So you can test it out. I've had great success using the large language language models to create this data using this prompt. A couple of other things you might want to consider trying. I have had really good success using Google's Gemini for these first two processes. I think OpenAI does okay. Claude does really well for those first two, but for some reason, Google's Gemini works really well for coming up with that initial step-by-step -step process and turning that into the prompt sequence with those prompts that I showed you. And there is a ton more in that cheat sheet, including a bunch of process enhancement prompts, uh, creative problem solving prompts that can be helpful when you're designing these uh, process automation systems. There is a bunch of resources here on business process design, which can be very helpful and even specifically for sales process design as well. 
So thanks a ton for joining me on this video. I hope you feel ready to get out there and use Claude to automate some of your most important processes. Again, consider checking out my Patreon where you can get access to that cheat sheet and 80 other cheat sheets instantly just by joining there. I've got some coaching options. And if you haven't subscribed to Blazing Zebra, please hit that subscribe button. That like button means so much. And drop me a comment. Let me know where you're getting stuck, what you're confused on. I'd love to help. I'd love to make another video to uh, address any issues that that you might be having and thanks again for watching. Make your dream come true.